and blowing up bushels of fun. With a flip of a switch, the Modesto Center Plaza flooded with a rainbow of colors this evening. I'm Sylvia Bevin, reporting from ModestoNews.org, and I am here to cover the festivities. Five, four, three, two, one, zero! They've done another great job again this year. This is a great evening. I'm sure, yeah, absolutely. And it's not it's near as cold as we thought. No, not quite this time this year. Right, right. How are you today? I'm doing fine. Doing fine. And what brings you out today to the festivities? Well, tonight I had to light all the trees up, you know. Santa and I have to do this every year to get the spirit going. What are the next events coming up in the season? Well, this event really, I think, starts the whole season off for everybody. And especially with the way the city's doing, we're going to have snow here for the kids. We're going to have the Dodge Ridge thing coming up. And it really kicks it off for everybody. Welcome, Jennifer, to this year's Christmas lighting. Thank you so much. It's a thrilling to be here. It really does kick off the celebration of the season. It's wonderful. And I, I hear that you have a little bit to do with this. So what <laughs> does your title and your job description entail? And I'm with uh, the executive director of the Modesto Convention and Visitors Bureau. So of course our job is to let everyone outside of Modesto know how great Modesto really is and to bring people into the city and that kind of thing. And we're thrilled to death this year with our holiday celebration. What you see tonight is kicking off with the tree lighting. Right. We have several things coming up in the month of December, which we're very excited about. Um, and the first one is actually this Saturday, um, which is the 1st of December, mm -hmm. and there's going to be all kinds of activity focused on the downtown area, particularly by our McHenry Mansion where there will be a Dickians type theme fair, a farmer's market, lots of arts and crafts booth, mm -hmm. and then in our plaza, our 10th Street Plaza, there will be additional arts and crafts from 2 to 10 in the evening, mm -hmm. um, Christmas gifts items and that kind of thing, excuse me, and then um, in the parking lot of our convention center, Dodge Ridge is coming down with a rail jam. And they're going to actually build a big, huge ramp and bring in all kinds of truckloads of snow. Oh, how exciting. And there'll be extreme uh, skateboarders, excuse me, snowboarders and right. skiers. That's so what they were great. mentioning earlier yes. on stage. Yes, yes. Right. So please, everyone, come down. It's going to be a wonderful. There'll be food vendors and all kinds of fun things. And today, did this, this event today did entail a lot of planning. Oh yes, this is a committee has been working on these events for, well, gosh, eight or eight months or so. You kind of start almost when the end, when, when the last one finishes, you kind of continue on. But there's a lot of uh, city employees involved, a lot of great volunteers. There's about 300 volunteers coming just for the parade itself on Saturday. Wow. So volunteers have a huge part in all of this? Oh, the community of volunteers are instrumental in this, particularly from just pe giving people directions, how to get around the parade. Um, you know, how to get in and out when there's roadblocks and that kind of thing. So yeah, their volunteers are outstanding. Really, it means community. It means people getting together and enjoying, just getting out into the downtown, getting out and enjoying mm -hmm. this really spectacular setting. And hopefully some of them will enjoy other parts of our community, mm -hmm. uh, the Gallo Arts Center. Uh, this is really, you know, it brings people downtown and shows them what's available here. Uh, were you impressed with the number of people that came this year? I was very year? impressed and the, the weather really was good to us and hopefully yeah. everybody is going to be coming to the light parade on, on Saturday evening mm -hmm. uh, and that's really a special event uh, with children, with bands, with lighted vehicles. So today is just the advent of the whole tradition in Modesto, the yes. Christmas season. Yes, and, and you know the McHenry Mansion, the museum, all of them very special, both for our history mm -hmm. as a community, but also for what people can do to enjoy it's this so holiday great. season. So at a time like this this year, you're singing in front of such a large crowd. What does this mean to you? Well, we like to um, show, share the music with the, as many and the people in the community that we can. And this is a wonderful opportunity to sing with the mayor and, and be here celebrating as they were lighting the tree. I hear that there's a deeper purpose to your singing, of course. Um, if you can explain a little bit more about that. Well, last year we began a partnership with the Soroptimus Club of Modesto. They have the holiday Christmas tree in the mall where they raise money for needy kids to buy toys and clothes and things for kids that don't have things during the holiday. And so this group's doing a lot of caroling during the season and any, any money that we get from the caroling gigs, um, we're donating directly to the Soroptimus Club. That sounds very wonderful. And all, all you three, how do you feel about this? Is this a worthy cause and something that you're very happy to be a part of? I think it's really cool. Yeah, I think most definitely. Last year we did something similar and um, it was just a great experience to really realize uh, the people you were touching and all that good stuff. So. I think it's really rewarding. It's, a really, it's really powerful to know that you're influencing so many people and 
if you're doing something and you're involved in school or doing something like that and you're spreading the word to other people and they'll do the same thing. So they'll copy how you're doing things and then you can make the world a better place that way. Holly, this year when you were singing and looking out there into the crowd, what was your impression? What were your thoughts? There's a lot of people <laughs> and also that I'm happy that I'm doing this and it's something I want to keep on doing as long as I can because it's a great experience and I want to keep doing it. Do you feel like you're contributing at all to the community in your own way? Oh yeah, I think that um, especially this community, um, actually any community, needs a lot of art and culture and I think that if anything we try and help and input a little bit of that in our own little small way. With ModestoNews.org, I'm Sylvia Babin. Now remember, for all news, all Modesto, visit www.modestonews.org.